Hey guys, so it's the time of the year where people are applying to their unis and architecture is one of the more troublesome subjects to apply to. There are all these tricky assessments which have very little guidelines. The Bartlett School of Architecture in University College London is one of the most prestigious and top schools in the world to study architecture. And as a guy who have graduated from their undergraduate and master's program, I thought I would share some of my experiences about the application process. And if you want to get into the Bartlett, here are five quick tips for getting into the Bartlett School of Architecture. So tip number one is know what you're getting into. So the Bartlett School of Architecture is a very special place. It can be tough. The work is very demanding. It can be really stressful, but also it's a very, very rewarding experience. And I think I actually had a lot of fun there. People are great. The tutors are great. A lot of freedom. I mean, you can basically express yourself there. It's more like a place for you to express and explore rather than just teaching you about, you know, how to build buildings and stuff. Um, so yeah, talk to people who are studying in the Bartlett or have already graduated. A lot of the people come out of the school to become illustrators, game designers, 3D artists, entrepreneurs, things that are way more exciting than building actual buildings and also look into their summer show website or summer show books which I have included in the link below. Um, I think they give a lot of insight into the kind of work that they do. Maybe it would spark your interest as well into what kind of works you want to do in the Bartlett. Tip number two is writing a convincing personal statement. So the personal statement would be the first step of the UCAS application. I mean, firstly, please explain why you want to study architecture. Perhaps talk about spatial experiences of buildings that you have visited. Um, at home or in your travel, maybe those experiences have inspired you to become an architect or research into the realm of architecture. Secondly, talk about why the Bartlett, I mean, of course, the Bartlett is the best place to study architecture, but talk more in depth and show that you actually know what the brother is about, you know, whether you have talked to previous students or maybe you have gone to their summer show and you really like their work. Thirdly, maybe talk about how your past experiences made you a suitable candidate. You know, for example, what kind of subjects do you do? How does, how do those subjects help you to become an architect? Uh, maybe it's uh, visual arts, maybe it's physics, maybe it's um, geography. I mean, even English, you know, how you've been studying literature that also can inspire you to go into architecture. And you can also talk about your hobbies as a past experience. Maybe you like to go on a hike or maybe you like traveling, maybe you like cooking. I mean, all of these can be related to architecture. The Bartlett is very encouraging when it comes to how things, how different realms and disciplines can be merged into the subject of architecture, even, you know, cooking or anatomy or whatever. Lastly, in your personal statement, you can talk about your aspirations, you know, after studying architecture in the Bartlett, what do you want to do? It doesn't have to be an architect. It can be anything ranging from, you know, game design, furniture design, um, entrepreneurship, whatever you would like to do. So the third tip is to prepare a good portfolio. And I should say, 
specifically it is an art portfolio and not a building portfolio because the Bartlett doesn't really like to see buildings that you have come up with or designed because you're, you're basically going into school to learn how to design buildings, right? So before you have done that, maybe don't show the buildings you have made. Um, so yeah, only show your best artwork or show your best work at the start, middle and the end of your portfolio to keep the reader interested. And present your work in the best way, you know, take good photographs of your work in good lighting as well. And include a wide variety of work, you know, having different mediums, photography, video, sketches, sculptures, paintings, mixed medium. They love all kinds of experimental stuff. So whatever you have, just put it in. And very important is that include process images. They love to see that you have gotten your hands dirty. So for example, if you have done some plaster casting, show that process um, and put some photos into the portfolio. And I would highly encourage you guys to use a graphic processing software to compile that document. For example, Adobe InDesign or even just PowerPoint to lay out your portfolio pages and give them some you know, short descriptions. Don't cram too many different images into one page. Be sure to have hierarchy on the different size of your images. So the more important images make them bigger, the less important ones just make them smaller as a side dish. The more briefing space for the images, the better. And the Bartlett has actually published a video portfolio guide. You guys can watch it on YouTube. I think that's fantastic. It's also very informative as well. Tip number four is be prepared for your interview. When you present your portfolio, be passionate about your own work. If some of your artworks can be connected with a story, you know, what is that story? They would be very interested to listen to that as well. And very important is also to talk about the process. They love to see how you have came up with the idea and also how you have executed that piece of artwork. Also, don't be intimidated because tutors who are interviewing you can be very intimidating, you know, come across as too academic. But just know that it's just their culture that they love to critique other people's work and you would get a lot of that when you go into architecture. And prepare to talk about things that are not related to architecture and things that just shows who you are, what's special about you basically. For example, maybe you like films, maybe sports, storybooks, music, art, video games, traveling, or even topics like climate change, politics, etc. They're really interested in your opinions on what's happening in the world and what your passion is. And remember to practice, practice and practice. It's very important to know what you're talking about and also under a bit of a pressure as well. You know, practice in front of your friends, practice in front of your family about how you're, you're going to talk about your portfolio. Tip number five is be yourself. I know it might be cliche to say that, but the Bartlett really values your individuality. They're very interested in different opinions that each student has to offer. In every step of the application process, just be yourself. For example, back in my days, we had to do a drawing task before we send out our portfolio. And the drawing task is that we had to respond bond to a few prompts that they have given us by drawing or painting them out. One of the prompts that I've got for my task was, for example, the mundane 
or the view outside your window. In these situations, just be unique, express your individuality because what others think might be, might be very different from what you think. Just be yourself and be intuitive. Don't overthink it. And also be yourself during the interview. For example, in the interview, think about what made you become interested in being an architect or studying architecture. Usually there are very generic answers that does not exemplify your individuality and characteristics and how special you are. Maybe you can talk about how you have watched some films and you find that the spatial experiences of watching a film is very interesting and you would like to explore that in school or maybe you have played some video games and you find certain environments in video games very interesting you can also talk about that don't feel like you have to make up something to be special because everyone is special it's just about you know the way you tell your story so even if it is simply that you just want to design buildings in the future i mean that's great but see if there's a interesting way to tell that story so yeah here are the five tips um i hope that has been helpful for you guys if you guys have any questions concerning what i've said please comment below i'll be very happy to answer them so yeah all the best and good luck